Welcome back guys to another episode of Shift Factorio, let's play, so... Yeah, everything is kind of great, uh, last episode we redid the chemical science and now we are pretty much almost done actually with the productivity as well, which is really cool. Actually, it's just like the last couple tweaks here. And now we are done here as well. Isn't that cool? Um, you are uh, definitely the wrong way, but you know. I'm still not really convinced that with the rails really works because, well, uh, of the output belt, you know. That that's too slow, probably. Um, Hey, we'll see. Okay. Uh, and then it's actually just the last thing down here, which I am really afraid of. For, uh, I think, kind of obvious reasons. Uh, so let's have a look at the factorial calculator again. Oh, jeez. I mean, we only need like four for the actual thing, but now eight for low density structures. That's kind of steep. And then we also need like the flying robot frames, three of those, and that needs their like engine stuff. But the engines actually, we need only like one for uh, the engine stuff. That's kind of uh, great actually. Let's see how this is get affected when we put these guys in. Well, only seven, that's not like the craziest increase, you know. Um, maybe we can, yeah, I also cannot speed these up enough, I guess. Uh, who that's all a little uh, a little complicated you know yeah, you only have like three of these right here mm. I guess what we should probably do is we just uh, split that into actually like two units uh, and do these do that's in an extra unit and then we can do all the other stuff above that and then we can have like the actual production in the same unit kind of, you know. Uh, uh oh. Uh, that needs to be on the... On the auto side like... That, okay. Ooh. Ugh, oh, that kind of sucks. Um, well, we are almost done with the power armor thing research, but... Oh yeah, now I think that all... Still doesn't really uh, look the, the nicest way. Now it does. Cool. Yeah, that's the issue when it all is now so fast, you know? Okay, I don't want to rip everything out now uh, already, so let's just get a blueprint here for, you know, the spacing and everything. Perfect. Um, yeah, I know all of that isn't quite as perfect, obviously. Um, uh, I should probably just relocate that to down here. And I'm going to turn my personal robot off and uh, I'm going to uh, get this all deconstructed. Okay. So now we're safe again. Oh yeah, there they all are. Cool. Uh, so now we need at least the same length. Boom. Uh, this has two distance from the bottom, just like that, and over here, and over here. Cool. So now we need seven uh, doodads for all of that stuff, so that's five, and that's two more. 
the issue again is just that these things need so much stuff so we should probably do like the same layout again yeah we are just doing that now everywhere aren't we but it works surprisingly well Uh, and we technically actually just have the space as well, so it doesn't really matter that much if you're wasting some, you know. Yeah, no, we actually need eight. Okay, so we can do like one unit and then just copy it over, I guess. Okay. Well, now you need quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we should do like copper, yep, on its own belt, and then we don't have to do like some weird combo like up there which is kind of cool uh let's do that reverse again and build like the output first i mean in theory you could also put that together maybe i'm not really sure honestly uh like you could do that sure oh uh, well i don't really know Um, yeah, let's build it uh, so you can kind of like blueprint it, you know. And then down, and that way, and that way, and that's kind of cool already. Not perfect because we still need to output this stuff as well. Okay, let's also just do that you know so it's kind of cool and looks great and is perfect and everything and then the input the upper one is really easy the lower one requires a little bit of undergroundies again Okay, let's just extend that out like that. Um, and we can already copy that over now. Works like a charm. Yep, works perfectly fine. Okay, cool. And uh, now we need copper up there on that belt. Do we need copper for anything else up here? I don't think so, no. So you can actually also rip the copper out here completely. Yeah, we are going to do the cleanup later, uh, as always, you know. Yeah, we really need more solid fuel, that's for sure. Um, yeah, well. Cool, that's now copper here for us. And then, yeah, plastic and steel as well. Okay, cool. We can also deliver on that. Uh, plastic and steel. So we have steel right over here. And then we also need some plastics. They are on the wrong side, obviously, as always. lamps who actually needs lamps these days uh, yeah well that's definitely the wrong side of the belt um, of the bus rather I mean yeah you oh yeah you can't do anything about that obviously uh, there are always some things that are on the wrong side of the bus okay but in theory this should all work now yeah, these also don't need any modules. Um, yes, cool. Uh, well, stop. Uh, yeah, this is a little, a uh, little broken, you know. Uh, but now this should work. Okay, cool. So, now we can uh, get these up there in theory. <clears throat> well, that means we can also rip all of that stuff now out. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that's, I think, like the output or something. Weird like 
that. I have no idea what I'm currently tearing down here. Oh, yeah, there's still steel that goes through here with no plastics or anything like that. Um, yes, yeah, so we can get rid of the entire thing here, kinda, because we don't need the plastic belt anymore. We also don't need the copper anymore. Yeah, this still goes down there. Um, yeah, we could definitely then also simplify like the entire steel thing here. Yeah, that's now all the output for all of that crap. Uh, yeah, we have to tear everything down anyways. Come on, let's just... Uh, clean cut everything out of here. That was a terrible idea. Uh, okay, uh, I was trying to rip everything out, I guess. Uh, add... Varying success. Uh, I should definitely talk off the robot port again, that's for sure. And rip all of that crap out of here. And all of that crap. And all the crap in the middle. Okay. Cool. Now we need all the uh, pipes in the middle. Uh, not the pipes. We need all the um, things. Uh, the flying robot frame production. Exactly, that's what I meant. Uh, for that we need all the engine unit stuff. Uh, so everything starts out with the pipes again. Uh, like that, exactly. We now have this as a solid belt. Yeah, we should uh, get rid of the entire copper thing here now again. Oh uh, yeah, that's just uh, horrible in there. Oh no. Can we even get the iron up? Yeah, that also works, so uh, we can... Build it like that, yep, that kind of works. Cool. And underground like that, okay. Yay, a uh, new record actually now, I think. That's now uh, two cuts in one episode, isn't that great? Oh boy, Um, iron is uh, running through here now. I'm not sure, I don't think we need the iron for anything else, so we can do just that. Uh, do the pipes. Oh yeah, that's spitting out pipes like crazy. So now comes the electric engine, not the normal, the normal electric engine, exactly. The normal electric engine unit. <laughs> oh boy, with uh, steel from down here, which we could theoretically also swap around. Like, what was I thinking? Everything's just the wrong way. Okay. And then the steel. Yeah, we can get that working. Uh, like that? Okay, cool. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, let's also put away some atomic bombs. Yeah, but isn't 017 great? You can just, uh, nothing spills on the belts. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, okay. Now, yeah, we can research something new now, actually, finally. Um,. Space science pack would be a cool thing to have, you know. <clears throat> yeah, let's just do that, I guess. Okay, now we can uh, worry about our steel. I want to get that through here now.
Mm, I can go all the way. Yep, I can. And then I can just do something like this. And that's pretty much it. Okay, and then this goes uh, over here. This goes down like that, and then we can go up and into these. Cool, now we can go into the electric engine units, finally, after everything else. And now we need still some stuff off of that belt. Oh uh, yeah, well we have to do the input back there. And we also have to get some loop into this situation. Just loop it up, you know. Like that. And now we get our electric engine units. Isn't that fancy? Uh, that's actually everything we kind of need. Uh, now we need the flying robot frames, obviously, then, finally. Jeez. Um, oh yeah, right, the direct insertion chain is back. Well, can we actually use just one for flying robot frames? No, we can't. We need 2.557, maybe with some speed modules we can... No, and then we need like more of the other stuff, so we should really uh, do this like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, with three, then that's kind of kind of a problem. Yeah, this also needs steel, obviously, but we can mix it together. Yeah, we have to get the batteries through here. Yeah, they come from down there. Okay. Uh, so that kind of works, uh, but then we have to. Now go ahead and combine these two things together, actually. Already over here. And then we have to go underneath there, and we, then we can uh, input over here. Yeah, no, I think this was all a little bit more complicated than that. So let's do this like that, so we already have the space to uh, do some weird stuff again, you know. Okay. Now this should work in theory. I uh, still need some electric engines. Uh, how about all the gears? We don't need the gears really anymore, do we? We could theoretically get the electronic circuits and the batteries onto one belt. Uh, well, then this beauty up here doesn't work anymore. Uh, yeah, so we really have no other choice then, I guess. Uh, we could get them now. If we manage to get them into here somehow. But yeah, no, that won't really work out, I, th I think. Ah, uh, jeez. We need uh, these. Yeah, we can do the output uh, undergrounded like that. That would work. Uh, so now just the batteries, okay. Oh boy, we're getting them from here. Well, now that's our first kind of issue. Uh, I think we can directly go to uh, belt weaving here a little bit. So, but now we have them right here, and now what? <laughs> Jeez. Ah, well, we can move all of that a little bit over. We can move all of that over here, and we can go down a little bit earlier already. Okay, and we can move this a little bit like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, now I'm just going to do the uh, belt weaving thing. 
yeah we might be able to get this uh, working other otherwise but yeah without it but i don't really uh see it honestly i mean we have to get like four belts and we could do some weird stuff again up there with uh, not letting this stuff really through yeah we can do that theoretically uh, because we don't need the gears so we can get like the gears sorted out and then uh yeah no but we don't really have it on a space to do all of that so uh let's just do it the ugly way um yeah then we have these well these now go together essentially with uh, i kind of want that to be a little bit more compact to be honest Uh, maybe we can do that. No, not really. Yeah, we can get them one through there and we can do that and that. Cool. Because now we have to get these onto there. Uh, yeah, now that also won't really work that well, um, because we don't take enough space up over here. Well, let's actually see, maybe we're already done with the episode now, uh, because of all the, uh, breaks. Yeah, I think we're good here now. That's the thing now for the next episode, where we're then going to finish all of this mess up, and then we have 250 science a minute hopefully so until then have a great time see you all then bye bye